Moving on now to part C. Now in part C, we're asked to find Fg of k upon 4. Let's just write that in. In terms of k, giving our answer in its simplest form. So starting with Fg of k upon 4, I'm going to write that this is equal to f of whatever g was when we pass k upon 4 into it. So since g was the mod of twice the x value and the x value we're passing in is k upon 4 so I'm going to write that in as k upon 4 and then it was subtract k. Okay, and we finish the mod there and the bracket. Okay, so equals underneath. Now t twice k upon 4 is going to be half k and a half k take away k is going to be the mod of minus half k. So we've got the mod of minus a half k. Let's put that in as so. Equals underneath and if we take the mod of negative half k it's going to leave us with a positive value so that's going to be f of a half k and then we have to pass half k through the function f so that was the natural log of x but x is now half k so that's a half k plus k OK, equals again, and if we add a half k to a k, that gives us one and a half k, so write that as a top heavy fraction, so that becomes 3k over 2. And so we have that, we have fg of k upon 4 expressed in terms of k, and if you did that, you would have got two marks. OK, we now move on to part D. So moving on to part D, we're given that the curve C has equation y equals f of x. And the tangent to C at the point with x coordinate 3 is parallel to the line with equation 9y equals 2x plus 1. So what I'm going to do is start with the original function of f of x, which was the natural log of all of x plus k and I'm going to find the gradient at any point on this curve so that would be found by differentiating f of x so we'd have f dash of x or if you've got y you could write dy dx equals now to differentiate the natural log of x plus k I'm going to use the chain rule let me just remind you about that and what that is is that if I've got dy dt, or sorry, if I've got dy dx, I should say, it is the same as, say, dy dt by dt by dx. That's the chain rule. And so what I'm going to do is let t equal x plus k. So our f of x or y would be the natural log of t. And if I do dy dt, that would be 1 over t. So that becomes 1 divided by t, but t was the x plus k, so I'm going to write that in as x plus k. Let's just put that in brackets. And then, according to the chain rule, I differentiate with respect to x what I call t. And t was x plus k, so differentiating x plus k with respect to x is simply 1. So I'll put that in Tidying that up, I get that f dash x is simply 1 over x plus k. OK, so that's the gradient at any point on the curve f of x. So we'll just scroll that up. Now we're told that um, what we're looking for is the tangent to see 
uh, with x coordinate 3 is parallel to the line with equation 9y equals 2x plus 1. So if I've got 9y equals 2x plus 1, okay, we'll just say but, okay, but 9y equals 2x plus 1. And if we're parallel to that, we're going to need to rearrange this to get in the form y equals mx plus c. So if I divide by 9 to both sides, I get y equals 2 ninths x plus 1 ninth. And from this, I can see that the gradient is 2 ninths, the m part. So I'll just write that in, that the gradient okay, equals 2 ninths. So when this gradient is the same as the gradient on the curve, 1 over x plus k. This happens apparently when x is 3. So I can say that when the gradient, the gradient, okay, when the gradient f dash x equals 2 ninths, x equals 3. And this is going to allow me to set up an equation and uh, if I call this equation just up here number one, uh, what I'm going to do is sub into one, the result that I've just quoted here. So let's just give ourselves a bit more room, scroll up again, leave number one up there. So what that's going to give me is that therefore two ninths is going to equal one all over x plus k, but remember x was 3, so that's going to be 3 plus k. So next I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 9 bracket 3 plus k. So if I multiply the left hand side by 9 bracket 3 plus k, the 9 gets cancelled and I'm left with two lots of 3 plus k equals and then doing the same to the other side just gives me 9. Okay, so simply expand the bracket now. 2, 3, 6 plus 2k equals 9. Scroll up again. And so therefore, if I take 6 on both sides, obviously it's going to leave me with 2k equals 9 takes 6, which is 3. And therefore, k is clearly 3 over 2. And there you have it. Find the value of k. k equals 3 over 2 for 4 marks. So I hope you got that one right. Okay, that brings us to the end of question number 7.